Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. I'm Boss. I'll be your host like normal. But if you didn't know, the owner of this YouTube channel is Tales of Course, star of the show. And today I'm going to show you just exactly how Grincoin is the most profitable coin to mine in at least the last six months. I'm making over a dollar per GPU. Prices have fallen from the ridiculous valuations of Grincoin, where I'm now at a more reasonable price on Grin. And so these are real world numbers. I'm going to talk, show you the latest update on mining Grincoin, what the best miners for Grincoin are, and how to deploy them on Windows as well as SMLS Linux. I'm also going to show you how to buy and sell Grincoin. And I'm going to show you how you can bypass the need for a Linux CLI wallet. I know that's one of the biggest complaints out there about Grincoin, that they don't have a working Windows wallet. So fortunately, found a perfect workaround for that. So you'll be able to either A, acquire the coin. So then once you've acquired it, you can either choose to A, hold it, or B, so it's number two though, sell it. Hope you guys are excited for this video because I think it's a really good one and it really just brings some practical usability for this cryptocurrency. If you haven't checked our initial mining video, you can check it out right here, which it almost has 20,000 views at the time of shooting this video, which is awesome because it was just posted like a week ago. So thanks to all of you who continue to come back, watch the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, I always appreciate when you guys hit the thumbs up on it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Quick update guys, I had to shoot an amendment for this video because I actually recorded all of it yesterday and like always in cryptocurrency everything is rapidly evolving and changing. So within the last 12 hours a new B miner came out that is 20% faster than the recently 20% faster but that's actually not exactly the correct math but it's 40% faster than the previous version in my old video. So you can increase your hash rate by 40% by using the latest version. But the video I shot yesterday showed you how to increase it by 20%. Or it was 25% if you were using the Grin Gold Miner on Windows. So I'm going to shoot a couple amendments for each section in this video to give you the most up-to-date, latest information, as I always strive to bring you here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. I also took the time to put together a written guide with some GIFs, which is, I'm pretty proud of it. I hope you guys like it. It's pretty cool because my last uh, Medium post about Grand Coin actually got some good feedback, so it's not totally done. I need to make a couple amendments, but this is the gist of it. Uh, basic outline, I'll plug the video right there, Discord invite, but then it goes through right here with some GIFs showing you how to grab your UID, which you'll need to trade. Uh, Grincoin on Bitforex shows you what to do um, on F2 pool, as well as also if you scroll down an updated mining guide showing you the update with B Miner, how it's performing 40% faster than the leading alternative of Grin Gold Miner. These are my 1070 Ti's doing five graphs per second, which is significantly faster than the three graphs per second we originally got with Grin Gold Miner. And I show you how to change the worker and as well as a download link so you can just grab it and go all this stuff and more in today's video. So without further ado guys, let's run that opener one more time and jump into this video. So first, a quick update. If you guys remember in the last video, I showed you that I was mainly mining on F2 pool. I've switched out my miners over to F2 pool. It's been a really good experience. As you can see, my hash rate's been super steady here. It's been like that the whole time. I've been getting credited grins since the Genesis block, okay? So they've, their pool has been working well the entire time. Even though their fee is a little bit higher, their performance compared to the other mining pools when it comes to grin has been higher. They didn't pay me. They've never paid me a dime. This is just the truth that they are doing very well here. And as you can see here, my stats with five 1070 TIs over the last 24 hours of mine 2.23 grin, which makes it the most profitable coin to mine by far with the current valuation of $3.87 per grin, even after it fell off a cliff from its exchange price of like $7, which was, oh no, not up there. But it was trading at like $7 for a couple of days. And uh, a lot of opportunity to cash out there, and there's a lot of opportunity to cash out here at a good price point. But how exactly do you do that? When you're in F2 pool, you click over here on your account name. From there, it'll take you to your overview, and you will click payout settings. And if you're mining Grin on a graphics card, and it's less than 11 gigabytes, which uh, you need, you need at least 11 gigabytes on your graphics card to mine Grin 31, which is the algorithm part of Grin that was really designed for ASICs, which some people are already announcing ASICs for Grin, but don't worry, this is part of the plan for Grin, and there is that algorithm for ASIC miners. 
So don't, don't freak out about that. I'll cover that in a second. Grin 29 is gonna be the GPU dominated algorithm and there's gonna be regular scheduled forks to keep a GPU mineable for the next couple of years. So with here, I'm able to input my user ID, UID from the exchange of Bit4X, which I will show you. Um, I've actually been working on a new short link, which I'm pretty excited about. It was a little, little confusing to set up at first, but basically I have bossco.in, bosscoin, get it? And I can add short links to it now and it'll take me wherever I want to send you guys. So this is Bit4X. This is the recommended exchange for Grin. They're getting good volume. I hadn't used them before. You know, there's a ton of exchanges out there in cryptocurrency now, but I've been, I've gotten great results with them right here in my testing. This is my referral code. If you guys want to use it and support the channel, if not, it's okay. You're not going to hurt my feeling, but I'll have a direct link to that with my new short link that I'm really excited about in the video description below along with everything else i talk about in this video like download, download links for miners and so forth but once we click over here to the grin mining section you can see it's rebounded 50 percent in btc value over the last 24 hours their exchange is pretty simple and pretty straightforward once you log in there's a couple places you can get it but you can just highlight your user or your email right there and you'll be able to get your uid so 1983029 is mine so i took that and I went back over to F2 pool and I was able to input that. The revenue for mining Grincoin on F2 pool will be automatically paid out between midnight and 8 a.m. UTC, okay? And that's only if you meet the minimum payout threshold, which is a minimum of five grand. But as far as buying, selling Grin on Bit4X, uh, there has been no KYC, know your customer, AKA I didn't have to upload a picture looking all goofy with my ID right here. I didn't have to give up a bunch of details about myself. I wasn't blocked because I'm a US citizen, which is the, the case with very many exchanges. And again, I'm not saying I would hold a bunch of grin on here, but I was able to have my grin automatically paid out and deposited here without using any of the clunky grin wallets that are uh, on Linux CLI only. And if you come down here, you can put in any kind of amount of grin you want to sell. Um, you can even just click that 100% to get an automatic 100% of the grin in your account sold. And just to show you guys, th this is the uh, highest buy order that's available. So I'll just go ahead and click that to show you guys for the video. I'm going to click sell and I'm going to need my six digit passcode. You will notice that Bit4X is pretty hefty on the security. You're going to get a lot of email codes you got to put in and you're going to have to use a lot of Google authentication. You'll also have to set up a pin code to get paid out, which is separate from your Google authenticator, a six digit pin that you'll be putting in. It's separate from the pin that will be sent to your email address. It'll be yet another personal pin that you'll have to know. They call it your trading or safety verification pin. So I don't know why I'm looking at Google authenticator because I just got those pins mixed up. Once you punch your pin, it'll automatically go through and initiate that order. And because I took an open buy order, my order was filled immediately. So it's already done. Otherwise it would be sitting here right in the open orders. If you want me to go ahead and verify that, I come over here and click and you can see that now I sold my last grin in this account and my BTC balance was thus increased because I sold the grin for Bitcoin. In order to buy Grincoin, well, you're just going to send some Bitcoin to the address that it generates for you here on the exchange side. And that's pretty much it. Then you have that Bitcoin in your uh, account and you'll be able to buy just as easy as I just showed you how to sell, which will just be uh, the grin and Bitcoin market right here. So guys, it's really that easy to buy and sell your grin coin right now. Even if you're not familiar with Linux, you don't have to run a Linux wallet. It's that easy. So there it is. Buy and sell grin coin. You heard it here first. Use the link to support the channel. Next up, I'm going to cover a little bit just about the uh, grin ASIC miner. That's the first one to be announced. And trust me, there's going to be more. Sapphire is also backing grin through the use of a 16 gigabyte graphics card. And then I'm going to show you that the beat the newest version of B miner is increasing your hash rate by about 20%. I'm also going to show you the best overclocks that I found um, for mining Grincoin as well as a Windows update on mining Grincoin. But we're not done yet. Let's keep it going. So Obelisk, whether you love them or hate them, they've announced the GRN1 and ASIC for Grin, aka Grincoin. And this is for the Cuckatoo 31 proof of work al algorithm, which again is that Grin-31 that I showed you guys right here earlier on F2 pool. 
Also, if you're wondering for some other mining pool options while we're on that quick subject, miningpoolstats.stream shows the other options available. I'll link out to it in the video description below if you want to explore the other options. However, what's the deal with this Grin ASIC? Basically, this breaks down really simple. They're saying that this ASIC can do estimated 100 graphs per second using no more than 800 watts. And they're comparing that to the NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti, which right now, uh, per the miner they used, was doing two graphs per second and consumed 250 watts. If you're wondering, well, what does this miner cost? They're gonna be selling vouchers for $3,000, which will be convertible into one mining unit. This sale will open from a couple of days ago to February 1st, which is a pretty short window. And there's only apparently going to be 10,000 vouchers available. The second phase of the full machine sale, it's expected to go live in March, where the units will be sold for 6,000 each. So you're essentially, you know, hopefully if it all works out in an ideal obelisk mining world, you would be getting this miner for half the price for being an early adopter there. Uh, if you don't want the miner, you can receive a refund of $2,000 instead of the unit with no questions asked. So that's interesting. That's a very interesting route to take. They're also saying that they're going to put $100 per voucher to put towards grin development. And that's for the first phase. During the second phase where the unit's going to be $6,000, they're going to be putting aside $5,000 per unit for grin development. This is obviously risky. However, they are US based, so you could go after them if you really needed to. It's not like they're based in some weird country where you can't get to them. Um, the option to get 66% of your money back, no questions asked, uh, depending on the crypto market, could be very appealing. The good news is that they recently turned their performance around some and they have been delivering their miners promptly. So I leave that to you to decide if that's interesting to you. Look at this clever title right here. Sapphire grins as they prepare a 16 gigabyte RX 570 mining GPU. Uh, basically, it's as simple as that. This was not entirely clear in the last video, but so far there's no miners that can utilize graphics cards for Grin, and just to be specific, Grin 29 uh, mining algorithm that are less than six gigabyte cards. Okay, so right now the minimum uh, per the algorithm seems to be 5.5 gigabytes. That may change in the future, but it's unlikely. And that is exactly where this graphics card comes from, saying it's 16 gigabytes. It's you know essentially future proof in that regard. It's not gonna get kicked off any algorithms when it comes to available memory. This should also hopefully in turn be able to boost the performance, but that's depending on if there's gonna be public miners available to make use of this. Furthermore, 16 gigabytes could be used on the 31 algorithm which requires at least a minimum of 11 gigabytes per graphics card so this is a very interesting development absolutely enough of that let's jump into the mining section all right guys so here's the first amendment or update I had to make to this video because of the most recent minor release and again I don't want to give you guys an out-of-date video the second it goes live on the YouTube always looking to bring you guys the latest and greatest info so you can see I'm logged into simple miner and my tutorial right after this updated piece is gonna walk you through everything you need to do to get up to speed with your miner but this is showcasing the v13 of B minor version 13 and it's getting almost five graphs per second with my 1080 or excuse me 1070 ti's which is an increase of almost a graph per second over the previous version i've been testing a couple overclock settings if you noticed my shares uh, weren't too high there but i'm actually still getting the, the best results with my settings i was using before which was 200 core and 500 memory and 125 limit on the watts if you've got better overclock settings please leave a comment below i'd love to hear about them some people are reporting that they need to turn down their core clock a little bit with the latest v13 version so just keep that in mind so i'm over here on simple miner and if you want to see into my miner you can see i've got 25k shares accepted and i have only 1,200 rejected shares. So that's a pretty decent percentage. I'm also getting about four graphs per second on 1070 Ti. And that is with a 200 core overclock, a 500 memory overclock, and a power limit of 125. I could bump the power limit up just a little bit to get a little bit more performance, but in my experience, my residential electric rate, it's not cost effective for me to do so. I'm getting the best performance for me personally right here. I advise you to explore that. As far as overclock figures, people recommend between 
150 to 200 core and then 500 to 800 memory depending on your cards there so that's going to be the ideal window you want to work in most people are limiting their power from 70 percent to 85 percent as always with mining you can normally reduce your power consumption and not really lose too much performance if really any at all all. And as I just showed you, I have some really cool figures to show you the uptime with these exact overclock figures. So that's pretty cool. When it comes to this, uh, not much else has changed other than bumping up the overclock some and also moving to B minor 12.1. I talked about in the last video, I'm not a fan of B minor. However, with a new coin like this, we're going to run with what we've got working. They've also released a B minor 12.2 which is supposed to reduce the CPU consumption. So that may be helpful if you don't have a, like you have a terrible CPU on your mining rig, but this miner has just a G4400 and it is working fine. I'll have everything you need in the video description of this video to get up and running with anything when it comes to grin, but especially the mining portion, which I also lay out in my uh, how to mine grin blog post. Again, it's a very basic blog post, but it's got some nice links down here as well as settings you can copy and paste to get up to speed mining grin coin so it'll be in the video description and at that link if you need it again the latest version is 12.2 and as i showed you i've had great uptime and performance with 12.1 it did get more submitted shares and increased performance not only in the minor dashboard which can be faked just so you know but also pool side so i can verify that for you that it is a better performing higher earning miner and I've tested 12.2 shortly and didn't notice really much of an increase in hash rate. So I just left my other miner on 12.1 because it was working fine. If you didn't watch the last video and you're wondering how to set this up, you can just copy and paste what I provide in the video description or the uh, Medium blog post. And then you'll just uh, make a group name for this. So I'll put B miner 12.2 and your description doesn't matter. So we can just put wow, such wow. And again, I just copy and pasted, uh, you know, what I copied that basic layout and you'll just put your account name, dot worker name, and you know, there's the pool information and you're good to go. This API will allow SMOS to read your stats out into your SMOS dashboard without you having to click on show console to get those results. Once you add that group, you can click back over to your rig list. You can click on your mining rig and then you can come right here and select that uh, for the miner. If you're wondering, this did not just reboot. Um, when I showed you guys the overclock settings, I click save, which will automatically reboot it. So I don't want any dispute on my uptime with those settings. They are rock solid. Now that we applied those settings to the miner and it's had a second to get up and running, we can click on console. And as you can see, we're getting a similar performance and hash rate. Right now, the numbers seem a little inflated, but this is what the numbers look like when I set up the miner a couple of days ago. However, due to long uptime and running in the garage where it can get a little toasty, I don't have you know any kind of airflow. It's winter here, it's pretty cold, so I don't need it uh, that can drop the hash rate just a little bit naturally I'd recommend you to run the latest version and if you're having any issues definitely feel safe to drop back to 12.1 which has been great for me now before I show you how to set up the latest B miner on Windows I do want to show you the Grin Gold Miner 2.5 RC3 version which I have a download link in this video description and the last one and the associated uptime look at those submitted shares again with two cards that's a lot of shares that's awesome so this is with the overclock settings of a 75 percent power limit 150 on the core and 500 on the memory and a set static 75 fan speed which is keeping the cards a cool 60 degrees celsius as well as 47 degrees celsius on the front card and remember, both of these two cards are not on risers, they're on the tri miner. All right guys, here is amendment number two that I had to make to this video to give you the latest and greatest information. So as you can see, I'm running the latest version of B Miner, which I actually uploaded to uh, my Mega NZ. So this will always be downloadable through my link or you can use the B Miner link, whatever you wanna do. If you trust me, use my link. If not, no worries. Uh, I don't make anything if you guys use my Mega link. I just wanna have another alternative download link, you know, decentralizing the files, right? So as you can see right here, I'm getting almost five graphs per second on Windows with my 1070 Ti running these overclock settings as a 75% power limit, 150 on the core, and plus 500 on the memory. So these are very good settings and this is a very 
very, very large increase over the three graphs per second we were previously getting with the Grin Gold Miner on Windows. Now the rest of the video is gonna take you through using B Miner 12.1 or 12.2 on Windows, but just sub that for V13 and I'll have the latest V13 down the link in the video description below. So it's all up to date. The only difference is when you run that updated version, you're gonna get that higher hash rate. All right guys, real quick, I just wanna touch on the one common issue that people have mining Grin or really mining any coin with a Windows mining rig and that is your virtual memory. If you're having issues with your mining rig, you may need to increase your virtual memory. It's real easy. I have a link out to this guy using my new uh, URL shortener system in the video description below and also in the blog post. And from here, you'll be able to increase your memory, probably just go up to 64 gigabytes for virtual memory. That's what I did on my TriMiner and you should not run into any issues. Simple as that. So I've been letting B Miner run for a little bit just to show you guys some results here. But B Miner does work with AMD and NVIDIA now. Before they were having issues with the AMD cards, but now the AMD cards are working with B Miner. So yes, you can mine grid with AMD and NVIDIA. Setting this up is real easy, and I will have a link to download this in the video description on my Mega NZ account, which will never go away. It's pretty simple. You're just gonna download it and extract it to wherever you want. This is just extracted right here to the desktop. Once you do that, you'll just double click it and it'll open this file for you. And from there, you have all these options. You will click on edit or you click on mine grin and then click on edit. At that point, you can put, you can change the settings, go to a different pool if you want, or you can just go to username and you can swap a boss coin to whatever your account name is with F2 pool. If you're using a different pool, you may have to use different settings, but I'm just gonna keep it simple for this tutorial and leave it at that. You don't have to change anything else pretty simple you're just going to go ahead and double click it once you double click it it's just going to start running you'll see it run through a little bit of information connected to current 29.f2 pool you'll see the version number right here at the top it'll recognize hopefully all your mining devices that you have so i have device zero and one so that's going to be the two gpus i have on this mining rig and then you'll hopefully see accepted shares I'm still using those same overclock settings with this and I'm getting good stability um, again with this testing and that's 150 core, 500 memory and a 75% power limit. You can see that the hash rate over Green Gold Miner, the version I was previously using with this VB Miner version on a 1070 Ti is about 25% more, which is a pretty impressive increase. If we go back poolside and just refresh this, you can see that it's already populated in here. Uh, previously, I had it just synced up to just Bosscoin, and then um, for this, I have it on Bosscoin.worker, and the hash rate is not registered entirely accurately yet, um, just because that's going to take some time to even out. However, you can see that we are getting results with it. So guys, it's really that easy to mine on AMD and Nvidia on Windows and Linux when it comes to Grincoin. I wanna to touch on one more thing and that is going to be the inflation rates for Grincoin. And obviously you're gonna have a big inflation rate when you don't have a coin there or you just launched there in the first year. But you can see the inflation rate for the first year is gonna be 36K, which is a pretty high inflation rate. After that, it's going to be 100% inflation rate. So I just want you to think about this for the second. If the same amount of people want Grin and the same amount of money is directed at Grin, then if the supply has 100% inflation rate, well, your money just lost a lot of value. And of course, all cryptocurrencies that are mineable and some that don't, that just, you know, distribute coins over time, have an inflation rate, just like money. When it comes to, you know, USD, the US dollar, fiat, there's obviously an inflation rate there. It's why they say you need to make 5% of your money additionally annually just to offset the average inflation rate. But today's video is not about that. It's just to show you, basically, this sums up my reasoning why. I am choosing to sell my green coin for Bitcoin. That's just me personally. I advise you to do whatever you want to do. I'm just a doge dad. This is not investment advice. This is, you know, just bringing you guys some numbers here. I want you to make your own decisions, but I want to hear about it in the comment section of this video. Other than that, guys, it really wraps up this video. I showed you, you know, a quick update on just, you know, how I've been doing as far as grin mining, some of the results of my research, how F2 pool has been working well for me, how the automatic payouts have been initiated with that pool and they are working properly, how I traded, how you can buy and sell on Bitforex. I've got the link to my stuff down there in the video description. And with that, I was able to successfully withdraw that Bitcoin to my wallet, which can be verified on the blockchain. That's true. 
and no they didn't pay me a dollar it's just you know using the top option here with top green coin volume i also showed you some of the other money pool options if you want to go that direction as well as an update on the announced green coin miner from obelisk as well as the 16 gigabyte sapphire graphics card rx 570 on the horizon furthermore the current valuation usd for green coin which is you know between three and four dollars uh, right here today that may change here in the future hopefully you know like i hope this for all cryptos they go up in value but they may go down in value you never know and if someone says they do they're probably lying to you i showed you how to mine on linux through the use of smos simple miner which i went more in depth in my last video if you need a little bit more information than i showed in today's video and i also have a dedicated video showing you how to get set up with simple miner just showing you know how to flash the usb create account all that basic stuff furthermore showed you guys an update on windows mining when it comes to green coin you can mine this on nvidia easily now and you can also mine on amd easily now and you can increase your hash rate when you go from green gold miner to b miner if you want to do that that is up to you uh, b miner has gotten mixed reviews but again i'm not here to bash b miner today it is you know what i'm using here today because it is performing noticeably better than the alternatives that are currently available and we also talked about the uh, rather large inflation rate of green coin but hey who knows if enough money is injected into the coin those will still be very valuable crypto coins so with all that said guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you like these kinds of videos if you did please show your support by hitting the thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment uh, with just kind of your thoughts on all this stuff uh, with all that said i'll see y'all next time thank you so much for watching I'll be holding